Okay, welcome to the summary from lecture four. Today we talk mostly about bed forms, and in this brief podcast, I want to emphasize um, how bed forms relate to and change the laminar sublayer and the behavior of the flow over the top of the bed form. So the key points um, will be where you have erosion in a ripple or dune where you have deposition in a ripple or dune, and how that relates to the location of the laminar sublayer, particularly the separation point and the attachment point. And those things combined are what creates the cross lamination for ripples or cross stratification for dunes that you see in the rock record and allow you to interpret the flow characteristics from the rocks. So I'll draw a picture. We have a ripple or dune crest here. The flow goes downstream. And as it flows, the bed form deflects upwards here. And because the water is flowing into the sedimentary structure in the zone here, you tend to have compression of the laminar sublayer and erosion. So you end up with erosion in the zone here. Now, when the flow gets to the peak of the bed form here, the momentum of the water carries it um, forward, and you end up with the laminar sublayer separating from the bed here, which is your separation point. The flow continues and reattaches to the bed downstream, and the point down here is the reattachment point. The zone in here has a very low flow speed, and so it can't transport grains very much. Any grains that get picked up and come over the edge go from a rapid flow to a slow flow, and you end up getting deposition on the downstream side of the ripple or dune here. So this is the zone in here where you get deposition. Okay. So you accumulate cross lamination or cross stratification when you end up with a net accumulation of sediment and one bed form migrates over the top of the second bed form. And here I've drawn two ripple or dune crests. And you have a separation point here and here and an attachment point here. You end up with erosion on the back side and deposition on the front side. As the ripples migrate, you end up with lamina that down lap onto the historical point of the, the point, the surface on which the attachment point um, migrates. So right here you have an erosion surface. It's reflected the erosion on the back of this ripple. And you end up with lamina that are deposited on top here. Then for the next ripple, you have another erosion surface from the ripple downstream, and you have the lamina deposited here. Now, the key points of the geometry of th these bounding surfaces are the surfaces that reflect ro erosion on the upstream side of the bed form, and the lamina between the bounding surfaces represent deposition on the downstream side of the bed form. So if you look at cross stratification in the rocks, you have a record of the erosion surfaces and part of the deposition surface. And that's what forms cross stratification in the rock record. For ripples, this tends to be only a couple centimeters or less high because ripples are small. For dunes, this can be up to meters high, from very thin to, to very thick. And so that is the summary for lecture four. And thank you very much for watching. See you later.